What's up all you Toy Biz loving dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here and I'm back again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past and today we are totally checking out the 1996 Toy Biz Hearts of Darkness FAO Schwartz 5th Avenue exclusive box set. Say all that in one go. $42 back in 1996. Of course, what a steal for four figures you basically already have. And again, sold exclusively at FAO Schwartz, New York apparently, but I think it was at multiple FAO Schwartz as far as I know. You got a Wolverine, you got Ghost Rider, you got Punisher, and we'll get into Wolverine in just a second because he's all kinds of wrong, but on the, the box itself, I gotta say that it's where it's at with the artwork and the design and everything else. Very cool, and of course you're getting the three of the coolest characters, you know, they all team up. And on the back side of the box, even better. Love the artwork. All kinds of writing every which way. You get sort of a recap of what the comic book Hearts of Darkness is about. If you want to screen grab any of these, you get an idea of what Ghost Rider is about. You got the Punisher, of course. Really quick blurbs. At least it gives you some idea. And, of course, you got Wolverine sporting some red eyes for... Whatever reason, the good old-fashioned Toy Biz customer service number, barcode, all that stuff. But it is based off the 1991 comic book team-up story, Hearts of Darkness. And the basic premise is that Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch, Wolverine, Punisher, sporting the worst mustache on the planet, <laughs> team up to go up against the one and only bad guy, Blackheart. Of course, Blackheart with Mephisto and all that jazz, he's going to do something diabolical, right? He gets Punisher and he gets Wolverine and he gets Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider sports this really cool new motorcycle because Blackheart actually takes off with his traditional cool-looking hell cycle, just FYI. They defeat Blackheart. Go read the comic. Actually, it's it's not bad. It's not great, but it, it's not bad. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is the 1996 Toy Biz, FAO Schwartz, 5th Avenue exclusive, Hearts of Darkness with Wolverine, Punisher, and Ghost Rider. So here's all the bleeding dark hearts out of their packaging. And like I said, for 42 bucks back in the day in 1996, you were essentially buying just a bunch of repainted versions of your favorite characters that you probably already had. Specifically like this Wolverine, a very tattered, very battered Wolverine. It looks like he went through a couple thorns here and there. Read the comic, you'll get that reference. But it's an interesting Wolverine, a little bit of a paint deco, different deco to him. He's more blue-grayish. He's actually really cool looking. I'm digging him a lot. And, you know, he's got some really big proportions. He's got his claws out. He's got these huge, you know, gashes everywhere. So it is a really cool battle-damaged Wolverine. Love it. Definitely have seen it before. And like I said, you know, he, he's got a little bit of an action to him. You simply press the lever on his back. And he can go all like, rah, 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 rah. you know, that kind of like berserker rage. That's the sound effect from the uh, old video game. That's what I used to do anyways. But it looks like he's throwing a temper tantrum, right? Right. Anyways, so like I said, I totally have had a tiger stripe looking Wolverine like this before. Especially one based on the animated series. However, this is not the correct costume for Wolverine for his look, his appearance in Hearts of Darkness. He was in the brown suit. And... This is the only brown suit Wolverine that I have, and while he is a classic, while he's awesome, he's not the best. However, there was one other brown suited Wolverine that was released in the Toy Biz modern era line of figures. He doesn't have his mask on. He's not the best looking Wolverine either, but he is out there if you want him, and it corresponds a little bit better with what's going on. I just wish he had a mask, but like I said, this is a very cool Wolverine. He goes with the Ghost Rider. He goes with the Punisher. I like that he's all battle damaged. Gives him a little bit more of an edge. Of course, you'd like to see Wolverine all beat up. Doesn't come with any accessories all bite. What would he really come with? But it is what it is, and at least he's got an action feature. Moving on to Ghost Rider. And this is the one I really wanted from the box set, being that I'm trying to get every single Ghost Rider. Just FYI, more videos coming for him. But this is actually a really cool repainted Ghost Rider. He went khaki shopping on this one. He's got some brownish greenish pants to him great sculpt always have liked this original looking danny catch ghost rider that they did for the ghost rider line he does sport the flame glow look with the chain in the head he comes with the chain that the normal kind of ghost rider had and he holds it really nicely i've always liked it, it you know it's before all the whole 
you know, let's put a bunch of stuff, fire and all that kind of stuff on the chain. It's simple, but it works. You simply wind up his arm, push the button, and he does the whole like whoosh, kind of thing. So I definitely like it. And like I said, he is the exact same Ghost Rider, just different colors, especially in the head. This head actually looks a lot better than the whole broken up on the original one with the red and the yellow. While I still love this guy, this new one I got is actually pretty cool. It's just, it's different. I think that's what it is. But the whole just orange effects on him with the light yellow here and there just makes it that much more like flame glow. And then you can see all the different Ghost Riders and more videos on that later. There is another Ghost Rider in a Toy Biz Marvel Super Heroes 8-pack. But it is the original Ghost Rider. There's no difference in the paint. So I'm not getting it. Not just don't even tempt me anymore. So I got enough Ghost Riders. I got seven. And like I said, with the Battle Damage Wolverine from this set, and now you got this Ghost Rider. Yeah, with Wolverine, if he would have been just in that brown costume, just would have made it even better. But talking about awesome, right? You got Frank Castle left to go over. This is a really nice redecoed Punisher as well. And of course, this one was originally released with the Spider-Man the Animated Series. I've gone over this one before in a previous video. Same exact weapons. But the coloring on this guy, it's like a gray with a brown like belt and, the, and the, the weapons thing that goes over him and everything else. This rocks. Again, like with the Ghost Rider, this is a great new type of Punisher. Day. It's different. I really like it. His knife will fit right into his holster. Just like the old one, it fits almost to the top, right? He holds his gun well. You got his little walkie-talkie communicator headset over him. You can put the goo launcher from Spider-Man the Animated Series in his gun and of course you pull the trigger and it fires it perfectly so it's just a lot of fun you know what i mean it's a simple mechanism i love just spring-loaded weapons i wish they'd bring those back sometimes back in the day but here he is paired up with the original spider-man the animated series figure and as i said just perfect i mean it's the exact same figure same exact weapons just a different paint scheme and i really like this one being more in the comic book this one is still comic book of course it was supposed to be animated series. This one is a little bit more closer to the animated series, but unless you got this box set, then you'd know that they finally nailed Spider-Man the Animated Series' Punisher look. And of course, the grand finale of when I finish all these Spider-Man videos, I will definitely be looking at this guy because I can't wait to have him out. Plus, Morbius actually had blue hair. Go figure. But that's another character for another day. You can have these Punishers firing at each other with their goo weapons who knows and just fyi the headset still really doesn't fit always just keep it around his neck if you have to it's just embarrassing otherwise it doesn't look good in any way shape or form however putting punisher next to the ghost rider next to the wolverine this is a really fun box set i don't know about being fun for 42 bucks for back in the day but it's an excellent looking ghost rider it's an excellent looking Punisher, I really like the color scheme that this guy's got going on. The Wolverine is a hit and a miss. You know what I mean? Like, it's the exact same one we've seen a thousand times, released a thousand times. It just has a little bit of a different paint scheme. And it doesn't make him any less capable of beating up Blackheart, just FYI. I just like in the comic, and I think the reason why they picked the yellow costume is because it was 96, and that's what was really in, and 91 really had the brown costume, and just FYI, yeah, Wes Bentley was Blackheart in the Ghost Rider movie for as good as that was. Anybody got any jelly beans? That's all I'm saying. So that's going to wrap it up for this Hearts of Darkness FAO Schwartz 1996 Toy Biz box set. And I'm curious to know what you guys think. Did you have this box set? Do you need to get one now? You definitely need to get one now, especially for this Ghost Rider. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Hearts of Darkness. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I was waiting on this box set. So don't worry. I got Ghost Rider wave two a coming just fyi and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon fao schwartz